Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you an amazing hair growth oil that you can add to your regimen to boost hair growth. Now, this will also help you minimize hair thinning, essentially thicken your hair, and essentially just give you the nice throw that you may be looking for. So if you're interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching and watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps now before we get into the video guys i just want to say a massive thank you if you're a returning subscriber i really love and appreciate your support if you're new here please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family now let's hop right into the video so to begin with we are going to need one red onion um, you can also use the white onion if you want to in case perhaps you don't have the red one It's absolutely fine. Now onion helps to boost hair growth. It minimizes hair thinning, reverse premature growing, it controls dandruff, it improves blood circulation and it protects your hair from environmental pollution. So super amazing for high growth. Now you can alter these quantities guys based on the amount of the oil that you are trying to make. So you can use more onions for example. Um, so essentially you just wanna chop, uh, cut your onion, clear it out and essentially just cut it into smaller pieces and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Now after you chopped your onion guys, we're gonna go in next with some mint. So this is fresh mint that I got from my grocery store. Uh, mint also is super amazing for high growth because it increases the circulation around the scalp. So this helps with high growth and also preventing hair loss. Um, so it's super amazing if you just use it on your scalp because it essentially gives you that tingly sensation and it brings along these other benefits that I've just mentioned. So you're going to need quite a lot of mint. I'm not quite sure of the quantity here guys but you can see it is quite a lot. The reason why I decided to use a lot of mint is because um, onion has a really strong smell um, so you don't want to sort of you know go out smelling like a, a restaurant or your kitchen so that's why it's, it's, I prefer to add quite a lot of mint to this so that it can really dampen the smell of the um, onions but again it's entirely up to you if you don't mind the smell you don't necessarily need to use a lot of mint so after you mix the two together we're just going to go ahead and add our oil so I'm using coconut oil but it's fine to use olive oil or rapeseed oil I'm actually going to use rapeseed oil as well um, for this but if you're allergic to coconut oil it's fine to just leave it out completely now my coconut oil is currently in this liquid form because it's very hot in the UK right now so um, yeah, so coconut oil normally is kind of solid in in the in, in texture, but it becomes sort of watery when it's hot. So I, I'm not quite sure of the amount of coconut oil that I added, guys. So feel free to order these based on your preference. Now I'm going to go in with just a few tablespoons of rapeseed oil as well. But if you don't have rapeseed oil, or coconut is fine to use any other oil of your choice really you don't necessarily need to mix the two together but it's because i was going to use quite a bit of heat to make this oil that's why i chose to use these oils just because they're a bit more heat resistant um, so essentially after doing that guys you're going to go ahead and give it a nice blend until you have like a nice sort of smooth paste and then we're going to go ahead and make the oil yeah 
Yeah. On me. Yeah. No escaping from my mind, but low key. So this is what the paste looks like after it's all blended so do not add any water to blend just blend with oil that's all now you're gonna pop this in a little pan pop on the stove and you just want to go ahead and stir it uh, continually for about two to three minutes literally it doesn't take too long to get this oil made um, so the reason why I need to be stirring guys because you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pot okay so go ahead and stir and you know it's done when the paste has turned from this sort of green color uh, sort of bright green color to a slightly darker green color and that's how you sort of know it's ready so you can just turn off your stove allow it to cool down and then we're going to go ahead and strain okay guys so this is what it looks like after it's fried for about two to three minutes you can see it's definitely darker than what we had initially so after that's cooled down i'm just going to go ahead and strain using a recap but feel free to use any other thing that works for you i'm straining it directly into the mason jar in which i'm going to use to store the oil uh, but it's okay to strain whatever is convenient and then transfer it to whatever you're going to be storing it in um, so just pour that in there and then just go ahead and give it a gentle squeeze so you can get all of the oil out <laughs> Now I'm going to go on and just add in some essential oil. This is completely optional so if you don't have this do not worry guys it's okay to just use the oil as it is. Um, so I will be using some peppermint essential oil. I'm not exactly sure of the amount of drops that I put in this guys just because this doesn't come out really well. Every time that I buy peppermint essential oil I have the same problem um, with the bottle because it just doesn't drain properly. Um, so just go ahead and add as much as you need to and this will also help with the smell of this oil because just like I said before onion has a really strong smell. I'm also using a bit of fragrance oil again it's very very optional so this is mango fragrance oil just again to change the taste not the taste sorry the smell um, a, little, a, a little bit uh, but again it's completely optional. So stir that in and then that's it, that's your oil nice and ready and you're pretty much just ready to go ahead and use it um, straight away. So stick with me guys, I'm going to show you how you can use this and essentially how you should be using it for maximum results. So my hair at the moment is washed, is in an ultra style. Um, I recently actually did this for church. Um, so yeah, but my scalp is nice and clean and I just I just love it So I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply this um, Just to my scalp essentially if you are looking to use it, this oil to help regrow bald patches or areas in which you've, let, you've lost hair or your hair is thinning out um, It's okay to just apply directly to the area that's affected and essentially massage now scalp massages are super super important because it also helps with the blood flow which helps to stimulate hair growth essentially. So apply to the area that needs a bit of help or throughout your entire scalp um, and massage gently as well just to help with that blood circulation. Now you can also use this oil as a sealant so if you're looking perhaps to just you know if you're moisturizing your hair before styling you're looking for something to just help seal the moisture in it's okay to use it as well so you can just apply it to the entirety of your hair um, so in terms of how often you should be using it I would say it's always better to use oils as regularly as possible especially if you are looking to gain results from it because if you use it once in a while and you don't use it again you are not going to see any results so it's important that you are consistent with whatever routine it is that you're using and also you know something works when you actually use it for some time right um, so I'll suggest you do stay consistent with it and use it twice to three times a week depending on you know how your scalp feels essentially so also listen to your hair you don't want to overdo 
um, your scalp with oils as well. So this is pretty much it for me today guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share the video with somebody you believe could benefit from this. Also, subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already. And then I'll catch you in my next video. So thank you so much for watching guys. Until next time. Bye.